let's uh, go with the play head and choose the frame we want to freeze. Okay, maybe this one. All right, okay, so for this you have to click Command R. Let's make the timeline a little bit bigger. So we'll see what's going on here. All right, so for this you will have to go and click here where 100 is. Just click on this and choose Freeze Frame. Boom. We've got our freeze frame here. Very nice. We have a few points here. You see? And if you go on the right point here and you move it, you drag it to the right, it's going to make our freeze frame longer. All right? If you drag it back, it's going to make it smaller. The interval of this freeze frame. Okay? But then in order for this effect to work, we need to do a few cool things. I sort of like a speed ramping if you want. I see, it's it's very abrupt. I don't think it looks good. It's all right if you if you look for this effect, then it's fine. But we can make it even better. So to make it better, you have to come here and let's add a speed point. Okay, add a speed point. And in order for this effect to work, we need to slow down this portion over here. So go to this 100, click on it, and go to change speed. Let's change it to half, to 50%. So it's going to come from 100 to 50, and then it's going to freeze. Let's see how it works. Nice. Very nice. All right, so let's make this effect a little bit better. So I'm going to come over here and go to this 100 and add a speed point. And drag this to the left, and it's going to increase the speed. Let's say 150. And see what's happening here. Boom, and slows down. I think the reason you would want to use a freeze frame is to add a text, a saying something. Let's add a text, let's go to titles, uh, text plus, let's get the text. Okay, let's get the text and put it in between the freeze frame, just like this, and change it. You can add whatever effects you want here. It's totally up to you. But let's make this text cool. I'm going to animate this text. So I'm going to go to the first frame of the text when it appears. I'm going to go on the right hand corner here to settings. So I'm going to go to transform over here and click this diamond. Click on the diamond. And at this point, I want the text to be out. All right. So when the text is out, I'm going to drag my play had just about 10 frames and I want to reveal my text back just like this all right let's see our effect And this is it friends, thanks so much for watching, I hope you found this video interesting, useful and you got some value out of it and if you did, please Give it a thumbs up, consider subscribing, it really helps the channel and it motivates me to create even more and better tutorials just like this. Thank you and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care, bye bye.